Hello everybody, welcome to another Sunday upload. This video is going to be a bit of a Christmassy one, tis the season to be jolly and all of that. Um, so I've come to the most classic of Christmas places, it's Ikea, <laughs> which is the least Christmassy place ever. Although, oh, hello, here comes my partner in crime this evening, this is Katie Ellison. Hello Katie. Very formal. Come on in. <laughs> Very formal yeah, Katie. Here's Katie come Allison. In. Um, Katie's also Hello. vlogging but she is going to vlog a bit more of a what's new, um, checking out the new, um, you know, the little zones where they style things up. Um, come shop with me. Yeah, come shop with me, come browse with me. Katie's a bit of an interior expert. I mean I wasn't saying that. I like to consider myself a Christmas uh, expert. You are an elf. Well, um, you are a Santa's ITV elf. did call me their resident Christmas expert one year. Um, um, you're the only person that's ever called me an, a resident interior expert. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't got the. Uh, but what's it the is word? factual. It is factual. Um, so I'll the show you of ITV. a tiny little bit around IKEA. Uh, but if you want to see like what's new, go to Katie's video. Um, but I'm mostly focused on Christmas. I think that IKEA have some nice Christmas bits. I've done a bit of online research. Um, the thing I'm most looking for is a jingle bell wreath it's gold and it's a wreath so you know that's bells. there do you well it was in the american vloggers one so that's what i'm looking for and i do like good wrapping um that's in the paper um well i like them <laughs> i do like <laughs> I tried a good to wrap. do a joke and it didn't work um anyway we're making a bit of a girls night oh, out yes. of it aren't we're gonna we? go to the cafe we're gonna go for if dinner. it's open i suddenly panicked it's not gonna be open we'll have to get somewhere else if not but hopefully whoa Whoa, this is a roller coaster already. Um, so that's what I'll say for this bit. Next up, you'll see us in the cafe if it's open. Girls' night out! <laughs> Woo! I'm Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, right, let's get along. <laughs> At this point I should tell you that when I planned this, I thought this was a genius idea, that it would be really quiet this time of night, um, that it would be just a really peaceful experience. And as it transpires, I was terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> Very busy. Um, and everywhere, because it's the end of the day, everywhere is like, very like peas all over the floor <laughs> just like a tornado um but i'm we're still here now. we're here now we're gonna make the vlog i've got some food um i think that will soothe my soul and i'm still gonna show you the christmasy things but it might end up being a musical montage um <laughs> this is not what i envisaged i thought it was gonna be like one of those trendy um tossled haired Americans, you know, like the tossled yeah. head, yeah. long card. American I mean, I've done it. I've tossled my hair and I'm wearing a long cardigan. All I need now is like a Starbucks and like a brown yeah. felt hat. Yeah. And then like a welcome mat at my house that says something like, um, I don't know, something positive. Um, good, good day, y'all. Yeah, bless your heart, that kind of thing. Um, anyway, Katie's got her meatballs. I'm quite happy. I've got my fish and chips that smash. And hopefully by the time we finish, People will have cleared out. I'll be less busy. Yeah. What I should have done is just rang them up and been like, hi, it's Louise Pentland. Mm -hmm. um, could you clear the whole store for me? <laughs> like Victoria Beckham? Yes. Just like that, I could say. Um, I have um, had some very, very small bottom of the rung parts on TV. Mm -hmm. um, I have a mediocre slash underperforming YouTube channel. I was once in the middle of a down? demotivated video. Well, if that when that I was was, eleven. Well, one, why didn't I know about you? And two, why didn't I ring up? I don't think am I this red in real life? As red as it's making me no. look. You look like a beetroot. <laughs> what is it doing? This? Everything's going wrong today. Katie just said, "Do you get funny about people using your makeup?" And I was like, "Oh, a little bit." And she was like, "I've just got a really sweaty chin." I was like, oh my god, my nose is perspiring. <laughs> oh, that's it. Dip it in go. again. Oh, there lovely. You, like, you can't wait to use that again. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy, thank you. Oh look, they've um yeah, they've made this little 
display room with Christmassy bits in. I like the teeny tiny Christmas trees up there, that's a nice touch. I'm gonna say something controversial to you now, Katie. Yes. I really, really cannot stand that sort of plant. Is it what a, is point, that? a point setter? setter? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the same. I can't bear it's not them. Too controversial, I don't like I it at all. But Can you tell nice, me in the comments? Hang on. Yes, that's nice. It's wildly different to that, though. In the comments, I want to know yes or no to a poinsettia. And am I saying poinsettia right? Look, so if you use the little trees in you know, like a place setup, I like the idea of it. But I don't think that's particularly practical with children around. But like, nice styling. Nice styling. It's a bit less busy now as well in here, which is quite nice. I have. Can I tell you something about this? I don't want to film too much in the non-Christmas section, but I'm going to tell you something about this table. coffee table. This coffee table has been in Ikea for years, years and years. And I remember when I bought my first home, I wanted to buy this. It was out of my price range. And I thought one day I will have made it when I have that coffee table. And I never bought it. And to this day, I keep thinking, shall I buy this? I don't know what room I'd put it in. What but would you put in it? What would you put I, in the my books. books? My own books. I think Hinchy does that, doesn't she? She puts her you own books in. in. Your, is that going to be is that still like, your study, your little study room? Or I could put it in the um, kitchen near the pink sofa. I didn't know this was a drawer. I did. So, it can do, it's, so you can put the bits Stop in. Stop it. I've just spotted this sort of greenhouse thing, and I did see online on Pinterest that people had used this to fill up with like fake snow and make a little like display in there, which might be quite a nice little IKEA hack. Absolutely not the amount of times that I have bought a set of these drawers and I buy them and I think, oh, I'll paint them, I'll oh, put yeah. knobs in them, I'll, I'll, I'll Louise them and then you know what I do? I don't do any of that. They're quite nice to charity. for um, yeah. They're nice. bizarre stuff. I just never do it. Now, what did you want to show me over here? Is it the poinsettia table? Yeah, mini poinsettia. I've already seen it and said, yuck. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot calmer now, I think because it's not as busy, um, we've had some food, and I'm really enjoying myself, but I've just seen a really interesting Christmas display. If you didn't have a lot of space in your home, you could have like a wall tree. And this is all that made out be. of um, faux ivy. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Made of felt. Your favourites are the oh, Wow, I really like this fairy light stuff. Yeah, that's cute. That's really nice. Oh, yeah, my faves. But that's a really interesting way of doing it. I'm going to tell you one of my biggest life regrets now. Okay. I had one of I these. The coffee table was your life. No, no, that's just I have an unfulfilled desire. Oh. I had this bed. I love this. This was Darcy's old bed in my old house. And then when I moved house, I thought I'm not going to need it anymore. I got rid of it. And it was the best bed and I, I miss it. I, I'm thinking of getting a bed like this for do the it. kids. Do yeah, it, because it just rolls out and it can, be a t it can be a double bed. It's got good drawers. It's just a good bed. It's just a good bed. Oh, look, there it goes. It explains it all. So these jars are only £2.50 and they are the perfect jars for if you want to do one of those like Christmas displays, you know where you put fake snow in the bottom and then little Ooh, bottle yeah, brush trees and a car, a polar bear, they are so good for that. Katie, 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 alert, 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 look what I've seen, the oh, jingle bell, yes, it's part of the winter 2020 collect 2021 collection, there it is, there it is, there she is. She exists. I'm gonna find her and I'm gonna get her. When I asked on Instagram what you want to see, a lot of people actually said bedding. So I'll keep it Christmassy. Actually, is this Christmassy bedding? I, yeah. I thought it was from afar because it's kind of green and red, but wait a minute. It's got mistletoe. Is this poinsettia bedding? Steady. Mistletoe and poinsettia bedding. <laughs> no, thank you. For those of you though that did want bedding, this clip is dedicated to you bedding so we do already have a few bits in our trolley but now we're going into this uh like downstairs market bit and i think this is where we're going to see the majority of our christmas goodies right what do we have here that we like are these real yes they are lots of nice baubles down here if you like the red look they've got some nice detailed red ones or they have plain ones in gold and greens Reds. There she is. Yes, <laughs> logging my plan. Not sure what I think of these, um, but I do like this styling here. I like the black and the dark green. I think that's really nice. Let's go and see all the Christmas stuff all laid out together. So the Christmas section is actually right at the very end by the till. Sorry about Katie's giant plant here. <laughs> Sorry, scaring the view. So it's all the way over here, but I think they've saved the best till last. Okay, here we go. 
all the Christmassy stuff they have here. They've got a lot of different Christmas trees um, of like different bushiness. Do you like a full bush or a sparse one for your Christmas tree? I like full, full you like bush. a full bush? You're a full bush kind of a How gal. About you? I'm a full bush kind of a gal. It's just it's easier. You know where you are. There's a lot you can do yes. with that. Like, I, um, is it called these Nordic are sweet. fair when it's um, steady? Oh, you call yours whatever you want to call it. Um, these are really nice to put in your window. Oh, they hang. That's nice. Right, I'm going to cut to a musical montage of all the nice Christmas bits. Just interrupting the montage I found just one of these it was just here I don't know uh, if it is nine pounds or not no, but not I found that. I don't know if this is a good one though because it's got a big gap there I bet you'll find it somewhere else yes. just don't maybe take it just in yes, case yes these are cute as yeah, well I'm gonna get those they're very you they're yeah. very you my little hall, the bedside lights, um, some food freezer bags, they're really good, some dimes that we've opened, bulbs, some dish scrubbies, I like that you can stick them and then this frame because we already have this frame with something else in it and I want to get a matching one for it so I picked that up and Kitty has the giant plant, um, dimes and a rug and she's just gone to swap a plant because the other one had broken leaves so she's gone to go and get another one. Alrighty, we are back in the car. Katie is doing something quite rare, an instant, instant. Instagram. Um, so head over if you want to see that. <laughs> I think we're both quite restrained in mm. there. Um, I definitely could have bought more, um, but then you, you just get to a point in your life where you think, do I really want that in my house? What will I do with that when I no longer want to display it? Like where will, like the big um, the glass jars, the £2.50 jars, I picked up a couple of those and thought, yes, they're going to be amazing. And then I thought, what will I do with them in January? Where will I store those? So put those back. I hope that was interesting for you to see some of the Christmas bits. I was hoping for better Christmas bags. There, I've said it. This is because one year, and I'm talking like 2010, this is before I had Darcy, they had the best paper bags with little gnomes on before gnomes were a thing. What do they call gnomes now, the trendy? Gnomies? Gnomies. Gnomies. When, when like they were rare and I got these bags and I bought so many I had them for years and they were amazing <sighs> still dream of those paper bags anyway <laughs> um <laughs> moving swiftly on I would love to know what you liked from Ikea what would you buy Katie if you could buy one thing in there now what would you pick for your house I mean I know you just did go in there and buy things for your house <laughs> so it feels like you're the worst person um, to ask <laughs> uh, well I bought plants brilliant <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you would like uh, if you were there. And if you have watched this far in the video, well done. And please comment with Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> oh my God, all the lights are turning off in the car park. Okay. This is a good time to end the vlog. <laughs> what a weird end. I'm feeling a bit like sensory overload. Um, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.